Hey there, so today we have number three of the European and Beer Collection. So this is the last of the Beers from Basli de Zuta, La Suta. Uh, this is La Givre. La Givre mm -hmm. is a, a, a directly translated to the frost. So I got a cold, cold cow, cold cow. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so well, they don't mess with the carb on this guy, huh? Okay. <laughs> Um, they say uh, white pale ale, so I assume that means Belgian Vitbia. And you can sort of see it. First off, I don't know what the carb is on this guy. Um, over carb in a can? I don't know. Yeah, I could barely pour that. So, jeez, um, can I even see the beer? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, comes in a straw color. Definitely has that kind of like weeded, like, um, so uh, Belgian Vitbia is going to use uh, un unweeded malt. Or unweeded, sorry, unmalted wheat. And then, um, so there's a light haze to it, but that head is just a ginormous on this guy. So then, uh, <laughs> these kids, it's like they're just fighting with these kids anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, fluffy white head on that guy. So, anyway, what do they say about the uh, appearance? Um, hazy, pale straw color, uh, vibrant, racy bubbles, fluffy white head lingers nicely. Okay. So, yeah, smells. Yeah, uh, really doughy because obviously that use of uh, unmalted wheat is going to give you this kind of like a really pale, doughy character, but it also has this kind of like, like stale, malty. Like, like, is it possible these beers are not actually. No, they have to be brewed there, right? Yeah, it says brewed by. It's in, you know, La Boussie de Suta in uh, Normandy, France. Yeah, 15 Route de Paris, uh, 27140 Gisors. Gisors, I don't know. Um, so what's in here? It says uh, water, multi barley wheat, yeast, sugar. Okay, sugar. They put sugar in here. I don't know. Maybe Bobo AV, who knows? Um, kind of rocky head on that, so. It's a hole to do back there. Anyway. Um, okay, interesting. Okay, so it is a Belgian video, but uh, whoa, that's weird. Okay, so first thing I noticed, it is I didn't smell it, I, I mostly smelled like a still, like sort of boring malty. Like, for some reason, like, are the malt the malts have to be fresh, right? Like, like Belgium grows, uh, uh, grows uh, barley, France does Germany, like, it can be like stale malt from maybe the beer's just old. I don't know. All the beer so far, itself uh, sm uh, tasted like somewhat stale and like. Yeah, like, I don't know what that is, but it just tastes like, like, old malt. And I don't even know what old malt tastes like, but it just seems like it doesn't, it doesn't have a freshness. Like, it, it seems like off, but, but then, um, anyway, comparing their nose, they say wheat character, um, sweet citrusy nose of orange peel and a hint of lemon zest. Okay, so maybe they put an orange peel and lemon zest in here. Um, noticeable thing about the palate is that they say orange and lemon, blah, 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 zesty, uh, zesty and tangy. I don't get that, but they say coriander mid palate. Uh, gentle spiciness complements the fruit dose. The coriander is very floral. The first initial hit I took was very soapy and perfumey. Mm -hmm. So what stands out here is that it's almost like perfume water. It really doesn't have any mm, maybe a little bit of lingering like like dried orange peel not like something zippy and tangy it's like very um i mean it is dried so i guess but i don't know something about the staleness of this beer and that it, it tastes very perfumey the carb is fantastic i mean you can't build you can't pour this beer without like building a really beautiful rocky head I mean, hell, look at that so poor that's a beautiful beer honestly this beer is not bad because at least it's only 5.5%. So it doesn't taste like the 9% one, which was the Full um, Fioro, which was like a big booze bomb. This one's actually somewhat drinkable. And then it actually pours really nicely. It doesn't have the creamy texture. And then it's like very metallic. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So the head is actually very metallic, which ideally, like, you don't, I mean, it's just bitter. Sometimes like head is just bitter, but like it's very metallic kind of tasting it. Weird. It's honestly yeah, it doesn't have the creamy texture. Um like a bit beer, nor does it have the tanginess and like zesty, zippy, uh orange zest character. 
and then as you drink more the coriander sort of dies down so then you just get like a pretty just stale and boring kind of it it's not like it could be worse but it's only just a little bit better than that imperial guy that i had just because this beer is more drinkable i want to say but it's again it it, it it tastes a little bit like a contract brew it's like a shadow of like hell even a whole garden would taste better than this like a stale whole garden which was one on my advanced cicero exam like this is not a good example example of it beer all right whatever um so it's just a little bit better. Let's go with an 84. That's uh, La Givrie. Um, three down. I don't know how this is going to go. Until next time. Cheers later.